YouTube, it's your boy Premier back today with another banger. And in today's video, we will be going over a wheel spin rep method slash glitch that I've been using in NBA 2K20. With this method, I have been able to get double rep four different times in the past week alone. So lately, when I've been streaming or running with Shane while he's streaming, people have been asking, Premier, how are you getting double rep? If you are a fan of Poor Boy Sin, I'm sure you have seen this method. This method has kind of went viral. And thanks to Poor Boy Sin, this video is possible. So big shout out to Poor Boy Sin. This method was founded by him. But really quick, before we get into the wheel spin method, show some support, smash that like button, drop a nice comment below, drop that sub if you're new, make sure you turn those post notices on, daily uploads all of 2020. So you want to find a wheel that is close to the double rep near the two hours. So say the wheel is a little bit behind the two hours, you want to spin that wheel a little harder. Normally you want to try and stop it right between the O and the W, but since this right here is not a default wheel, I'm going to spin this wheel a little harder than normal. I'm going to let it go all the way to the top and then I'm going to stop it a little bit above the O and the W. With this method, I am consistently getting it in the range between two in five hours i'm not gonna sit here and try and act like you're gonna get double rep every single time spinning this wheel is 100 percent about luck but with this method i seem to get a little luckier than some people so let's go ahead and move on to another example i got a few examples lined up here of the double rep the main thing i try and look for when i'm looking to get double rep off the wheel spin the first priority i'm looking at is it a default wheel or is it close to a default wheel and what exactly i mean by a default wheel i will break that down down a lot more further in the video but just for a short summed up version of a default wheel a default wheel is where it's exactly on the double rep two hours mark so those are the wheels I try and look for when I'm looking to spin for double rep so this wheel right here I don't know if you can tell but it's a few slots behind the two hours of double rep so instead of letting the bar bounce all the way to the top come down and stop it right between the W and O on power. We're going to have to spin this wheel a little harder since it is further behind the default wheel. So on a wheel like this, I do recommend letting it bounce off the top and actually stopping it between the W, like dead center in the middle of the W. Just anywhere in between the P and the W for your spin and you should be somewhere near the double rep. The wheel is not a science, the wheel is completely about luck. If only there was a science to this and you could get it every time with a certain method. Sometimes I think I even have a perfect spin on a perfect wheel and you're just not gonna get it. But with this method right here, since I started using it, I have actually started getting double rep. Before this, I only got double rep once throughout the whole year. But over the last week or two, since I started using this method, I've got double rep four different times. Now, earlier in the video, I did mention I would cover what a default wheel looks like. This wheel right here is a perfect example of a default wheel. This wheel has been untouched. So whenever I spin a default wheel, the way I want to stop it, I want to let it go all the way to the top bounce off and then I want to try and stop it between the O and the W. Now, I don't know if you've seen it whenever I loaded in on this account, but this account right here is a backup account of mine. I use this account to get in bot parks for like Puma Mania and those type of events when I want to get my double rep in peace. I use this bot account to load into a bot park. Then from there, I will invite my main account to come play in the bot park. Using that method right there, you can really play in peace whenever I have double rep or whenever it's a double rep event this is the method I use to get my double rep in peace the first clip you've seen of me on this account getting double rep was actually a clip now this next spin that you are about to see is me live today in the ante up trying to find a good wheel to spin when I was recording this video I only had three clips in total of me getting double rep from this past week two were on my main account and one time when I was loading into a bot park I loaded in on the bot park needed a different bot park I didn't like how many people were in the first so so I walked into the place where you do your spin, I spun the wheel and I got double rep using my method. And that's when I caught on, I was like, wow, this method is really like that. Maybe I should do a video on it. So today when I put the video together, it just didn't seem right unless I had another clip of it. Me, I had already done my spin this morning on my main account and unfortunately I was not able to get it. So I was like, hmm, 
what's another account I could load in here on and try and get a spin? So sure enough, here I am on this bot account looking for a good default wheel to spin. Remember, a default wheel is where the top of the wheel is at the two hours, or at least near the two hours of double rep. As long as it's anywhere near that radius, you should be good to spin it. If it's a little bit behind the two hours, you want to spin the wheel a little harder. If it's a little bit in front, you want to spin it a little softer. But on a wheel like this, you want to spin it right between the O and right between the W. This wheel right here is a perfect wheel to spin. And I'm telling you, you're not going to get it every single time using this method, even if the wheel is perfect. But if you start using this method for a few weeks, I promise you're going to get double rep at least once. There is no way, because once I started using this method, like I had said earlier in the video, personally, I only had double rep once all year long. But once I finally listened to a buddy of mine and started using this method, I was able to get it four times this past week. So seriously, run around as long as it takes in here and find that default wheel take a few extra minutes you do not have to just stop at the first wheel you find and spin it run around the stage run around this ante up until you find the perfect wheel like for example that wheel right there i would not have spun if it is past the five hours do not spin it that is not a good wheel to spin look look and see exactly where his wheel stops it stops in the gatorade nowhere close near the double rep that wheel right there i'm not gonna spin that wheel either this wheel right here, I might end up spinning it, but it is a little behind. I'd have to spin it way harder. But this next wheel right here, this wheel right here is almost perfect. It's about as close to a perfect wheel as you can get as not being a default wheel. If you don't end up finding a dead ante up to come in here and do the wheel spin, you, these are the type of wheels that you're going to need to look for. All the time, you're not going to be able to find a default untouched wheel. That is incredibly rare and it's really hard to find. So you're going to need to find wheels that are at least close to the two hours to spin. So from here, what I'm going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and walk around the daily spin area. We're gonna look at a few different wheels and I'm going to tell you if I would spin them and where I would end up spinning that wheel. So to get started, let's find a wheel that is stopped. This wheel right here, if I did end up spinning it, you would have to spin it somewhere in the W. I would not normally spin this wheel if I had a default wheel available, but if I had to spin the wheel, I would end up spinning it somewhere in the W. Now, onto the next wheel. This wheel right here, if I were, I'm not even gonna spin that wheel. To be honest, let's, let's not and say we did. This wheel right here, I'm not spinning that wheel either. If it's nowhere near the two hours, I don't wanna spin it. This wheel right here, I don't know what this kid is doing. I personally would not spin it, but with the wheel, like I said, it is all about luck. So let's watch this wheel and see what happens. Huh. And sure enough, he gets close to the five hours of double rep. Like I said, there is no science behind it. It's just a method that I have that was working for me on a consistent basis this past week or two. This wheel right here, if I did spin it, I would spin it somewhere below the O. I would spin it a little softer than normal if it was a default wheel. See, he did not get it. Onto this next wheel here, I'm not spinning that one. Let's look at this kid. If I spun this wheel right here, I am going to spin it in that O area. I'm going to spin it a little softer than normal. Let's see how he does. Hey, big double rep. See, like I said, everyone has their own method. Find a method that works for you, stick to it, use it on a consistent basis, and you will end up getting double rep. There is no science to it. There is no magic method that if you use it, you're gonna get double rep every single time. If somebody is telling you that, they are capping. There is no method like that. I will be one of the first people to tell you I have used my method that I'm showing you here before on a good wheel, on a good spin, and you just don't get it. The wheel is all about luck. I'm just trying to be honest with you. I don't wanna sit here and try and lie and say I have some method that's going to work every single time. What I have here in this video is a good method that has worked for me consistently four different times over the past week. I really hope this double rep method works for you. If you have any questions on this double rep method, drop them down below or get at me at Premier OG on Twitter. But that's all for today's video. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Make sure to turn those post notices on. It's your boy Premier and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>